Will people complain about the desaturated colors on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Z Flip 6? That is the one question that I want to ask today. When the S24 series was unveiled earlier this year, everyone was super furious at the fact that Samsung made the display not as vivid as before, even when we did the vivid color profile. I'm the one who pointed out what caused this color desaturation. Our outrage was eventually heard and Samsung introduced a brand new vividness slider in the next update. Then this color vividness issue was fixed because when we tune the slider to the maximum level, then it will match the previous generation's color vividness. And now this exact same color vividness slider is also found in both the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and the Z Fold 6. I've spent the past 24 hours doing countless color accuracy tests on both of these devices. So just to show you, Galaxy Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, and the reason why it took so long is because I did the above and beyond this time around. Each device has a total of 12 color accuracy tests done. And for the Z Fold 6, I have done the left half, the right half, and then the cover display. And multiply that by four color profiles, we have a total of 12 tests each. For the Z Flip 6 though, this is a bit more complicated. So I did the color accuracy test for the top half and then the bottom half. And if you have good lock installed on this phone, you can actually run whatever apps you want on the cover display. And that means I can also do the color accuracy test on the cover display. And then multiply it by four different color profiles. We have another 12 sets of color accuracy data. Each test takes about 50-ish minutes, so in total it took me like about 6 hours, excluding some hardware-related issue due to my laptop. And uh, yeah, please just do like this video and share it with your friends because that will really help us out a lot. So, is the pattern consistent between the Galaxy S24 series and the new Z series? Let's talk about the Z Flip 6 first. By looking at this table here, yes, I know it's a bit messy, but this is the best way that I can represent all of the data. We can see that the sRGB color gamma coverage is consistently at least about 98%, and it does slightly go higher when we increase the color vividness, nothing out of the ordinary here. And just like the S24 series, when we do turn up the color vividness, the DCI-P3 color gamma coverage goes up from around 70-ish percent to about nearly 100%. It does fluctuate depending whether the data is taken at the top half or the bottom half of the phone. And this is a typical behavior as our displays are not equal across all parts. It's just close enough that our eyes do not realize the differences. Usually when I'm doing this kind of color accuracy test on non-foldable devices, I will only take the center part because that's where most of our eyes will be looking at. The maximum delta E goes up when we turn up the vividness, but I suppose it's an outlier number here because the average remains extremely low. If we compare it with last year's Z Flip 6, we are getting the same level of color vividness when we are at the Z Flip 6 with vividness level 3. What has significantly improved is the maximum brightness. Even the cover display has improved by a lot. As for the Z Fold 6, it's more or less the same story as the Flip 6. The sRGB color gamma coverage is very good across all the color profiles, but increases slightly when we increase the vividness level. The DCI-P3 color gamma coverage has once again jumped from around 70-ish percent to nearly 100% when we go to vividness level 3. Surprisingly, only the maximum delta E number of the cover display goes above 2.0, as both sides of the inner display stays below 2.0. The average Delta E is also very low across all tests on all sides of the screen. When we compare it with the Z Fold 5 that we had, the results are very, very similar if we do turn up the vividness to level 3 on the Z Fold 6. The maximum brightness is what surprised me and also perplexed me at the same time. The cover display got the biggest increment of nearly 400 nits, maxing out at around 1,400 nits. 
but the inner display can go beyond 1500 nits and this is the brightest ever display that I've seen but it does fluctuate. The left side of the display is nearly 100 nits lower than the right side and yes I did do the test a couple of times just to reconfirm my finding. This is indeed the case for our particular unit. And once again it got a very nice brightness boost compared to the previous generation. This once again just means that both the Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6 are great for movies, games and everything in between. And since I already compiled everything into the spreadsheet, I might as well just share it with you guys. So if you want to take a look at all of the data shown here, then the link is down in the description below. One thing I still can't believe is people saying things like this. Yes, even months after the vividness has been proven to be fixed, people are still complaining. Why? I think first impressions matter. People got used to vividness level 3 on previous generations of devices and now Samsung defaults the new devices to just vividness level 1, not level 3 like what we had before. For me, how I do things is by looking at the data alone. My feelings are invalid because we cannot tabulate data from that and I need to see the numbers. If we just compare the numbers with what we had previously, then they are within the margin of error in terms of color gamma coverage percentages. And honestly speaking, I still think Samsung provided a very good solution here because they gave users a choice. Even me, I eventually settled for vividness level 2 on my Galaxy S24 Ultra and my Galaxy S24 Plus because it, that is just much more comfortable for me. So yeah, that's all that I have for you in today's video. I decided to make this into a separate video because I really spent too much time to do all of the color tests and it will be taking too long of a time if I include it in the full review. So might as well just separate this out into its own little video here. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the full review of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Flip 6. So yeah, we'll see you guys there.